and this is Stitchless TV. Today we're at the Makers Cafe which is number one Kingsland Road in Shoreditch. This place is amazing because not only can you come here and get a nice cup of coffee or tea and a big slice of cake but you can get some fantastic laser cutting done and 3D printing. Come on, let's go in. So look, here are some examples of the perspex that they sometimes use for the laser cutting. And they've got like this fantastic transparent perspex. And what I was thinking was, if you were to get like some Dame Edna glasses and create a vector wrangle of it, you can make it to the most brilliant necklace if you stuck it on a chain. So last week I came here to come and sort of research it before I did the film. And I didn't know really what laser cutting meant. So I just created a, a vector file with different sizes of Kusama-like circles. And I gave it to the guy on a memory stick. And it took it four minutes to print out this lovely yellow leather and it cost me about four or five pounds which is just fantastic so you see this stuff here this is the stuff that they use when they do the 3d printing now with the 3d printing you have to create a cad file but if you can't do that you can come in here and you can put your hand in a 3D scanner, have your hand scanned, and then a few weeks later come back and get a replica of your hand. But I'm going to order something much more special than that. Hello. Hi. Hello. Could I have a cappuccino, a big slice, do you do carrot cake? We do carrot cake. Yeah, big slice of carrot cake and a full body 3D scan. So no, 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 seriously, I am getting a full body scan. But this is Hazim, so he's one of the experts here. So, you do little scans, don't yes. you, yes. as well? So is this here one of the scanners? It is one of the scanners, so basically you would have an object. So sometimes people will have an object that they want to have a 3D printer, and they are not tech savvy in the sense that they cannot build the model themselves. Right. So in that case, what we do recommend is that you simply get it scanned. Wow. Then and we will put the object here and yeah. it will rotate and eventually it will keep digitizing it or scanning it until you will have that object built into 3D virtual environment. Is it an exact replica? Well, not is everything can... Is it one can, color? It is. Well, it will kind of scan all of the data, but we do tend to look into the object first because not every object is scannable. So if it's reflective or such things, okay. it is not possible to scan it. Right, okay. So look at that. This is a 3D printer in action. So the reason why I'm having a, a 3D full body Star Trek like scan today is because they said that if I get scanned, I can then create a mini me. Now this one isn't actually me, as you can see, I'm much more beautiful. But, and also it needs to have its acrylic finish coating put on it. So how amazing is that? So I could actually have a life-size model of myself made, but that would cost a fortune. So what's the smallest size again, has it, that I can it's, get done? It's six inches. Six inches. So I'm, after my full body scan, a couple of weeks later, I will come back, have another cup of beautiful coffee, and collect my mini me, which is going to be about six inches tall. So I'll see you at the scanning booth. Oh, so exciting.
we're here, we're here at the scanning booth and it's called My 3D Twin and really, you should look, you should see them, they're amazing, they're like that Italian ceramic stuff called Capo di Monte. So look how realistic, they look and you can even get your dog done. Now I don't know if you've noticed, I have actually changed my dress, well done. But, the reason why I've done that is because I fancied it looking like a more graphic image. Hello there. Hello, hi. I'm here to have my scan and my mini-me. Fabulous, you're my 3D twin. Uh, what size is it that you'd like to go for? Uh, well, can you tell me the difference in the prices? Absolutely, we have 15 centimetres, which starts at 120 pounds. 20 centimetres high, which is 175, and 25 centimetres tall, which is 250 pounds. Brilliant. So what do I do now? Well, let's see. Are you almost ready? You yep, have yep, your yep. face. Yep. I'm Let's ready. Take it okay. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I'm in a solarium or something. So apparently there are 64 cameras that are going to take a photo of me at exactly the same time so that they end up with a three-dimensional image of me. So here we go. Beam me up, Scotty. Ooh. I don't know if you can see the detail on that. But look, it's got my bracelet that I was wearing. My socks, they even look a little bit sparkly. And, can you see, my tape measure. So, do you know what? I don't know if you think it's a lot, but that costs 120 pounds. Which, if I had a choice between a photograph, a really nice photograph, or a mini me, I don't know about you, but I would definitely go for a mini me. Tell you before, but I actually got my mum scanned as well. My mum in that box as well. She is indeed. Look, whoa. Oh, that's amazing. It's my mum. I got my mum done too. Thank you so much for watching Stitchless TV. Now, if you go and get any scanning done or any laser cable cutting done at the Makers Cafe, share your results with me on my Facebook page, Stitchless TV Sewing Channel. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye.